Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on the Instagram profit map. You're going to learn how to profit from Instagram without having to sell. All right, so this is video number one, which is the introduction. And what I want to do now is give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course so you know exactly what to expect ahead of time. And that just gives you an idea of all the pieces of the puzzle and how they fit together and implementation will be a lot faster. All right, so video one is this particular video, as I said. Video number two is platform comparison. So we're gonna take a look at YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And the reason why is because we wanna get an idea of the atmosphere and the environment and the behaviors so that when you enter Instagram, you do it correctly. Video number three, we're gonna talk about starting on the right foot. Video number four, we're gonna talk about how to build a brand or a lifestyle. And this is key as specifically and especially for Instagram. And you'll see in just a minute. Video number five is what creates inspiration. And it'll make more sense in just a minute. But video number six, we're gonna talk about you get one URL. And with Instagram profiles, uh, you can't really put the link in all of your posts like Facebook is just one URL. So how do you make money with that? And we'll talk more about that in the later video. So video number seven, we're going to talk about how to sell on Instagram. Video number eight, we're going to talk about sponsored posts and how you can make money with that as you grow and how you can use that to actually build your Instagram profile literally overnight. So now what I want to do is talk about mindset because having the right mindset and going into this is so important. And the reason why is because a lot of times as sellers, product owners or uh, service owners or whatever business owners, you are at the end of the day, you're trying to sell your product, right? Shopify store, affiliate store or whatever. But instead of Focusing on selling, you want to focus on influencing and creating a brand and creating a lifestyle. That's what Instagram is all about and how that's different. And we'll talk more about the differences in the next video. But here's what you need to get started, which is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to need, number one, an Instagram account. And of course, you'll need an idea of what you will be influencing people about which indirectly will sell your product and service, but it'll make more sense as I go through the course. All right, so with that said, let me jump on over to video number two. So welcome back to video number two, which is platform comparisons. And the reason why this is so important is because the problem and the reason why most people fail at specific social platforms is they enter that platform thinking that they can use the what they do on Facebook on Instagram or what they do on YouTube on Instagram. But the reality is that you are entering a totally different culture. So imagine entering a totally different culture and trying to do something that works in a different culture. That's not going to work, right? So you need to know the differences and you need to make sure that you're in the right mindset before you actually move in. So did you know that there's a big difference between Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram? Well, let's talk about that. So knowing how they behave, how users behave, how they expect you to behave, and their expectations of you are important, all right? So that increases your sales, your success rate, on all that. So this is where it's easy to fail as often. You know, we enter a specific culture, like I said, that has certain expectations and not following these rules just gets you avoided or seen as a spammer. So you do not want to be seen as a spammer or be seen as an outsider. You want to be seen like you are part of the culture. All right. So that's what I'm trying to get at here. So let's talk about the differences. YouTube people go here to learn how to do something. So you got a lot of DIYers or people who like to do it things themselves. Like say for example, you break something on your wall, you need to learn how to patch it up, you go on YouTube, you learn how to do things. 
Plus, people go there to kind of de-stress. They like to watch entertaining videos. They like to watch, you know, people singing or people dancing or learn how to do something, basically. So that's what YouTube is. You can't really take that same concept and bring it over to Instagram because it's totally different, right? Facebook. Facebook is a great place for people to see what's happening, to discover what is happening in the world, what their friends are doing, what people that are, have similar interests are doing. They can join groups and all of that. So it's all about discovery, all right? So many different ways of discovery. Now, Instagram, on the other hand, is where people come here to get inspiration, to get ideas. So they might have discovered something on Facebook, they, but they want to get more ideas about it from Instagram. So if you'll notice, Instagram is a platform with a lot of beautiful, aesthetically pleasing images. So that's another thing you want to make sure that you have really aesthetically pleasing images. So if you're not a person that create really good images, you're going to need to have a program to do that. And we'll talk more about that later on. You can use these programs to create beautiful looking quotes, beautiful looking images and all that. But that's something to keep in mind. But people come here to get ideas. They tend to follow brands. They want to know more about the brand, right? They want to follow their favorite celebrities. They want to follow the lifestyles. They want to see what's happening. So I'll give you some examples and concrete situations that you can actually get a better idea of how all of this works. But really what I'm trying to set you up for is success and set you up for the right mindset so that you move in and you're able to close more sales, close more leads, generate more followers and fans. And that's the whole goal at the end of the day. Now, Instagram and Facebook have very different audiences. Now, you'll notice now that Facebook has bought out Instagram, but they, they still have very totally different audiences. Something that works on Facebook may not work on Instagram. So just keep that in mind. Different platforms, even though something works there, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work at Instagram. And I'm going to show you how to make sure that you get things working and all that. Now, like I said, you'll notice that Instagram has a lot of aesthetically pleasing photos, so you'll need to make sure that you uh, focus on that and make sure that you show that your company, your brand and all that looks really, really nice and appealing. Now, here's a little tip. On your Instagram profile, when people go to the Instagram profile, they're gonna see about a, a few images. And people will normally judge you based on the first nine photos in your profile. And based on that, they will decide to stay or they will decide to leave. So you got to make sure that you choose your best nine photos forefront. So when somebody comes to your Instagram profile, they see the best of the best, right? All right, so now that we've talked about that and now you have a better idea of how Instagram works, uh, let's jump on in and go to video number three and talk about how to start out on the right foot. All right, so welcome back. This is video number three and let's talk about starting on the right foot. So you learned in the previous video that you can't jump on Instagram and just sell, sell and sell. You can't do any type of direct selling. Um, selling is in a different way. It's a very indirect selling. And I'll talk more about that in just a minute. And this is why most people fail. That's what they do. They jump on Instagram, assuming it's Facebook and they can't figure out why they're not making sales. All right. Or why they're not getting fans. So let's make sure that you start out on the right foot. All right. So the secret here is to build a brand or a lifestyle. So if you think about what I talked about earlier in the previous video, I said that people go to Instagram because they want to know more about a brand. Maybe they discovered the brand or the lifestyle in Facebook, but then they want to go to Instagram and they want to learn more. So this is where they follow uh, people 
and you'll see lifestyle wise they'll post pictures of themselves they'll post pictures of their life in relation to what they do just to basically build a personal relationship so think about facebook as okay i discovered you and i am more part of a community but instagram is like okay i get to see more about what's happening in your life not just about related to what we're interested in both of us like shared interest wise but i get to see what's in your life what's happening uh what the good the bad so you're basically building a relationship so the end of goal for you should be to become an influencer which means you know a brand that will have real influence on people's decisions so you can influence people by the pictures that you post basically and people are waiting for that kind of stuff and they want ideas they want inspiration they want quotes so you'll notice a lot of quotes are on instagram you'll notice some quotes on facebook as well but you'll notice a good amount on instagram and you'll notice a lot of uh, those type of images so everything from about what to wear what to buy where to shop what to do and where to go so you see what i'm saying here it's a lifestyle mentality you know society has changed so drastically that back in the day you could just say go buy this and they would go buy that they would take your word for it but now they want to see that you're genuine that you're a real person that they can actually deal with so uh, before you can sell they need to get you know to know you and you need to get people to follow you of course right so you need to build a following before you can actually sell so like i said in our society nowadays people want to know you they have discovered you on facebook and they want to hear all about your lives your drama everything um so now you got to pick and choose what you post so let me give you an example here let's say that you are a scuba diver all right so on your instagram profile you would show a typical day as a scuba diver so you know things you do happy times sad times uh things you run into problems you run into as a scuba diver the type of equipment you would buy what tools are great what tools are not all that so why would you want to do that well i mean if you think about the dollar signs you think about the profit as a scuba diver you could be showcasing tools that you are using and this could easily translate into let's say for example a shopify store where you sell scuba equipment maybe you can do an aliexpress drop shipping thing where you they buy the product you ship it from aliexpress you get a cut of it and you don't even have to actually stock any type of inventory in your shopify store so that's something to look forward to from instagram people get you, you get to indirectly sell about things because at the end of the day people are going to want what you have they feel okay if if i have the same software tools or if i have the same tools or equipment that you have as a scuba diver or as whatever you're trying to do as a lifestyle or brand uh, they're more likely to buy it right so it can be shopify store it can be an affiliate promotion it can be a sponsor post from a scuba gear company which we'll talk more about later down the road but before you can all do all that you need to have a brand you need to have the ability to create a lifestyle right so now let's move on to video number four and let's talk about how to build a brand and how to build a lifestyle and do it all properly 